Hi guys, it's spring, how exciting. So I thought I um, better get off my butt and show you guys what's been happening in the garden. I did not do a huge amount over winter. Like winter is far less of an exciting time to be gardening. You know, there's still plenty that we can do and I did a little bit of pruning and kept the maintenance happening and all of that sort of stuff. Um, but not a huge amount of gardening. However, in the last few weeks, I have had some amazing landscaping work done. And I have had that done so that now that it's spring, we have some really exciting things to do in the garden. And I, I can't even tell you how happy I am with the outcome of this work. What started as one bit of landscaping turned into three, and I love every single one of them. And I am so excited to see what happens in the garden during spring now that that's there and kind of, I guess, just enjoy it. Like I'm, I'm about to show you, but the definition in the yard because of this landscaping work is superb. And I'm just, I am in love with it. So anyway, let me turn this around and let's go and have a look at the three different bits of landscaping that I had done in the yard. So the first thing to look at here is the edging on the shade garden and the fact that I've actually mulched the whole shade garden. Um, so this edging is a cortent steel. It's supposed to go this like rusty color and it's just given the shade garden the most beautiful definition. So I wasn't originally planning on doing this, but the guys were here and I was working away in the shade garden and I was getting really annoyed that I couldn't get a nice line. And so I asked them what we could do and this is the outcome and oh my gosh, in love with it. Just that definition, the nice, tight, sharp edge is so beautiful. And the fact that I was then able to mulch the whole thing, this took two and a half ute loads of mulch. So I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy that I've mulched this end of the shade gun because I've never done that before. I've been very lazy, but look at how beautiful that looks. Daffs have been going strong, nearly run out, but I'm just so happy with this space. And I'm hoping that all my perennials come back. The grasses are starting to, so we'll give it a go. Love, love this area. Next is the veggie patch and I've had that lined as well and oh, I love it. Just the definition is so beautiful. Now these bricks came from APC Paving. Um, they are, I don't know, maybe 30 centimeters, a beautiful gray and a rustic kind of edge. So you can see they're uneven and they're supposed to be like that. And um, I just really like the fact that the veggie patch now is no longer just a hole of dirt in the ground. It's actually a really beautiful area. Now I have spent a couple of days working on the irrigation. So the 19 mil comes up here and that is gonna trench all the way back to the water supply over there. So I need to trench that still. Uh, but the 19 mil poly goes around the whole outside of the patch and then I've got rows. My rows are a one meter row with 70 centimeter walkway and a one meter row, 70 centimeter walkway and so on. So the one meter row then is about here with a drip line and a drip line and here. So that if I plant sort of on the outside of this drip line, it'll grow over a little bit, but I'll still have a walkway. Now from the 19 mil I've reduced to 13. I've put a tap so if I'm not using this run of drip I can just turn it off and there is a tap at the other end as well because this 19 mil is one big square around the whole patch. I then tee off here again after the tap into about a 33 centimetre run into my second line of drippies. So I've got the two lines of drippies going up to the very end, run off a 19 mil reducer. 
Now the drip ease has the holes every 30 centimeters and I've offset the holes on the drip ease as well. So I've only done the one run here just so that we can have a look, but I'm really happy um, with what that is doing. It's really neat. Like last year, I didn't have the tap, so I couldn't turn it off if I wasn't using it. Um, and last year I kind of ran a loop and it was just messy. So what I've still got to do, I'm going to trench and dig this under um, the soil in the veggie patch, or I might just pop some more soil on top um, just to, you know, this will get hot. So that'll put hot water then on the veggies, which is not ideal. Um, so I've got to dig that down. Eventually I've got to run my other lines of drippies everywhere. And I've got to finish weeding and just pull the last of the veggies. But this is a really great start and because I've got the taps on each one of these, um, again, at both ends I've got a tap, it means that I only need to set up the drippies when I'm using it. Got some leftovers over there and some leftovers here. That's fine. All right, let's show you the most exciting part of the landscaping work. Just before I, I turn this around and show you, I, I look at this and I'm so happy. I'm just so happy. <laughs> Let me share with you the Great Wall of Kim. Dun, dun, dun. Ah. All right, so this project is actually what started the whole landscaping work, all three sections. Um, so you may remember that this ground came up and up to the fence about yay high, but really heavily sloped, just dirt with weeds and grass, really hard to maintain. I couldn't mow my lawn. Um, so I had to whip a snipper it all the time. It just was always ugly, always messy, and it was an unusable space. So I thought, let's build a planter box wall in here and... This is what we've ended up with. Now the land slopes a lot more than we all expected it to. So I had a professional landscaping company come out, um, Orchard Unearthed Landscaping. Toby was amazing. I'm just so happy that I was working with him. And we originally had the Great Wall going up two courses. So that would have taken it to just a little bit lower there. Um, what we realized was that that wasn't going to be high enough because of how the slope came down. So we raised it to a third course and then we've put this beautiful stacked stone veneer on it. So each of these boxes is 10 meters, you know, approximately. So 30 meters in total. The wall is about 60 centimeters high. Um, 60 centimeters, does that sound right? That is right, because um, the blocks were 20 centimeters. Anyway, it comes just up to above my knee. Got this beautiful capping on it um, that matches in with the stacked stone veneer really, really well. And the guys spent an incredible amount of time making this look just so beautiful. So it's a wall that we then stuck this to and doesn't it look spectacular? Now we've got all of this dirty, dusty, sandy loam shit at the moment because um, of course it's been winter. It was messy and just muddy by the time they trumped everything back and forth. We've also run irrigation to the whole thing. So I will set that up shortly and I'm currently starting a whole heap of seeds that are going to go in here of all different types of flowers. So I've decided that this year is the year of flowers for the Great Wall. So I've got some nice big tall ones, I've got some sunflowers, I've got some short ones, lots of vibrant, vibrant colours. Eventually I will have to do something about that fence behind the Great Wall because the Great Wall looks spectacular and the fence looks fugly. But anyway, that's fine. <laughs> Um, anyway, guys, I am just in love with this. The definition it adds to the yard, just the beauty of it, the fact that it is somewhere now for me to just sit down. Like I can take a seat as I'm working in the yard and just observe and it's just beautiful. 
Um, I also love that the edging of the veggie patch matches the great wall really well. Like the color scheme is on point. And how beautiful is it gonna be when the grass grows back, which won't take long, you know, it's already starting to peek through. Um, but also when I've got this chop full of vibrant, beautiful color. It's a bit muddy and boggy down here. I've got to bring in some more sandy loam and just level this out. Again, didn't realize how um, much the land sloped. So anyway, we've got veggie patch edged ready for an amazing year of I weed like weekly and it still comes back but anyway we'll get on top of that we've got the great wall which looks spectacular and I mean give it another couple of weeks and the grass will have grown back through here it will look even better and we edged in the shade garden and all of this is on top of me keeping the lawn spectacularly beautifully mowed um haven't done anything with these beds yet still not a hundred percent convinced it's what i want um i mean they've been here for a while but i'm just putting it off chicken coop is just overgrown with weeds but that's fine it's not a problem and because it's only just gone spring we're not getting a huge amount of light in the veggie patch yet but that will fix itself up during summer so anyway guys that is my beautiful landscaping work I am so happy with how the garden's looking at the moment. Everything is on point. It's beautiful. And I am a happy, happy camper. So that's it. That is my update, my tour. Um, I think that you can see, I mean, if you can't see how beautiful that is, there's something wrong with you, not me. <laughs> um, but this is really just an amazing set of work to start off a new year in the garden, new year being a new spring, new growing season. And I am so looking forward to what I can do out here this year with all of this new infrastructure to play with. And, you know, I'll take you along for the ride when I can. Otherwise we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye guys.